welcome back a couple of minutes to go before the start I've just chopped my my worms and added my dead maggot and caster that's going to be my main attack out at 11 meters opposite that tree over there I should feed half of that in the first go and I shall use double fluoro maggot on the hook nice little fluoros there should be a few perch about got a lot of weed to contend with as we said before but I should put a few maggot in just down there at about three meters just in case there's a few perch about little duckling there waiting look you can see all the anglers with their pole pots ready you go out there and have a go at them they'll all be using ground bait as I say I'm not going to try I'm not going to use ground bait I'm going to loosely cast over the initial feeder worm and see how we go so my biggest issue is the weed. If I do get a bonus fish, what I should try and do is fight it to a standstill out at 11 or 12 metres rather than try and get it in there quickly because once it gets in amongst all this stuff, that won't be easy at all. But we've got all our prerequisites, little drop of orange, everything ready to go. Drinks all there, as I say, waggler's made up, but whether I'll get to use it or not, I don't know. There's an awful lot of debris float on the surface, so we'll have to wait and see. But I'm going to be feeding out towards that tree. So say the initial pole pot will be a reasonable amount of the worm and caster. I'll get the pole ready. people start to get about now as well so you we have to be careful when you're shipping in and out that's the pole pot I shall put out the initial grub in second now and then we'll get on with it and see how we do. As I say 28 people here is quite a lot for this canal it doesn't usually get that sort of pressure so it uh, I think will be quite tricky but we'll see I'm sure we'll catch a few fish certainly should be a few perch about I'd like to catch a bonus bream or tench bream probably because they know fighters are hard. That's the whistle So we'll get this initial grub out there. As I say, I'm lining up across the bank with a big old oak tree. Just there. We'll pop that in there, like so. Clear the pot out. number 12 rig, just wet the elastic go out with double fluoro maggot see how we get on initially it should be just small fish I would imagine there's been some nice perch here up to over, over a pound there's been double fluoro Let's ship it out there and see what we can do. start loose feeding just yet just see what's about if anything I 
that bait hopefully is just touching bottom there is a, quite a lot of that silkweed out there as well so chances are I may have to come an inch or two off the bottom to combat that but I've set all the all the uh, rigs at the same depth so I can always go back to one to check see where I am I think if you're going to get a bonus fish here you'll get it early I think it'll be before midday rather than after midday and the secret to doing well today in the comp will be just keep trying to catch fish for the whole five hours because it will go quiet so if you can keep putting something in the net lift and drop, all seems clear of weed there which is good perch sight hunters so if you move your bait every now and again it does help they see a bit of movement and come to investigate it There's no toe on the water as such, but there's a skim on the surface. So the bait will have gone down exactly where I put it. It's just that the uh, the surface skim makes it appear that it's pulling through and it's not. Another little lift and drop. going to go for eels today but uh, with the amount of weed I've got in my peg I don't think it's a good idea because you'd really struggle to get them in I'm sure we'll probably have a few eels today anyway but uh, I was going to actually target them specifically and feed just maggot and cast and loose feed heavily to get them going but uh, as I say I think today with the weed in this peg it would probably be a fool's errand so there we go, a little fish. Just after we lifted the drop. Right, the rig's fishing okay then. A little bit of weed on the hook, but we can soon get rid of that. A couple more fluoros. Top and tailed. <laughs> Try to get it out there without getting rubbish on the hooks quite tricky. Yeah, yeah. Right it back in over the bait. should be right over by uh, 
top where we cast her. The caster sinks quite quickly, so that won't have got anywhere. The worm with the juices of the worm will travel a little bit distance, so you can always remember to move a metre down the peg a little bit later on if you find the bites dry up, because sometimes it just means the fish have gone down a little bit. We just lift and drop again. So it'd be nice to get a bonus fish early. A nice perch or a bream would be great. Do get a lot of jack pike up here as well, they can become a right nuisance attacking everything that you bring in. Hopefully today they'll be elsewhere.